Hello, everybody, and welcome to Vinny's Garage. <laughs> and today... Today you're by yourself. So, no, I got you. I, I know, but I mean, no sun. No, no sun today, just yeah. me. Uh, yeah. Today we're going to jack up the car all the way around and uh, get it ready to take out the subframe right here. Because we need to uh, sand it and prep it ready for paint. And same thing with the front suspension. So, so are you excited about the car? Well, yeah, it's going to be nice once it's done. It's going to take a while, but yeah. it's a pro that's why they call them projects. Yeah, mm-hmm. Good. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's get started. First, we've got to empty everything out of the car. Uh, from here, we already take out everything. Not yes. everything. A little bit. Right here. Our parts right there. And cleaning up here. So what, again, it's a model of the car. It's a 1979 Camaro. Camaro 1979, okay. Which we're gonna make into a 1971. Why? Because they're a lot nicer looking and oh. a lot cooler. Okay. That's going to be 1971 Camaro. So 1971 and 79, they, the same frame? Yeah, I'll show you. Show me. The 1971s and the 1979s are all the same, quarter, almost the same quarter panels. Mm -hmm. Come around, I'll show you. The difference is, is that on the 1971s, the quarter panel comes up to here. Okay. You don't have this window which we're going to keep because this is actually a good part of the 1979s is that it's got the wraparound window it gives you more view of the back of the car yeah. this here is what really is ugly right here where it goes in right here and it's got that all that plastic big mm -hmm. tail light it's ugly it's like from the an 80s disco look, which mm -hmm. is disgusting. I You're hate gonna it. do it differently. And it's got all the rubber bumpers. We're getting rid of all of that. The new quarter panel is almost the same, except for it doesn't have this. Mm -hmm. So it comes down like this. And then it has metal back here with round tail lights that look really nice. And a bumper, a nice chrome bumper that's gonna be. But basically the quarter panel is all the same. The only pieces that we have to replace is get a quarter panel, cut it here, go here, and around like this. You mm -hmm. see? That is going to be cut out and the new piece welded in. And I don't understand anything, but <laughs> it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do up front? Okay, of course, up front, since the quarter panels are the same, except for where it's discussed right here, mm -hmm. the doors are exactly the same. Yeah. But the front nose is totally different. The whole front. How are you gonna get? Where are you gonna get nose from? Well, when we order the sheet metal, because oh, they have okay. uh, uh, lots of different places you can get the sheet metal from for this car now, from all the way back to '69. You know my '69 Camaro. Yeah. You could still get the whole car. Wow. So we're gonna change the since we don't have a front nose, we're mm -hmm. gonna make the front nose a 1971 split bumper. So this, uh, the whole front nose here gets replaced with a 1971 with the split bumper with the single head, brown headlights instead of that big, ugly, plasticky, ugly mm -hmm. 80s look. All gone. Okay. So it's gonna look nice. I see. Oh, you taking that out? Yeah, this has to come off because mm. it's falling off. You want me to help you? Yeah, you, you need some help? Okay. Okay, okay now give it to me. That's good. Thank you. So what about these screws? Just put them off to the side. Those will, we probably won't use them. So it's the beginning of the big, big project, guys. Big project. And I hope we're going to finish it. <laughs> now, fortunately, we only have two jack stands to work with today until I get two new ones. All right, jack this up.
So what do I need to do? Do I need uh, to do anything? Oh, uh, not yet, no. All I'm gonna do is take these wheels off. And I gotta measure to see how much higher do I gotta go to fit this underneath there. Because we want it just about this far away if we can from the subframe. So when I take the bolts out, it just poof right okay. on top of this. What is that? This is tools. These are sockets. Mm. Okay. Okay, let's see how she fits. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty good. I just need to get a longer 2x4 for that back one. That's spinning around. It's getting there. Um, All right, that's ready to paint. Huh? Ready to paint? No, not yet. Don't take four from here. Yeah. These are all the bushings? Mm-hmm. And these are good ones because they're neoprene, neoprene bushings. Hot, yeah? Oh, it's very hot. That's why I want to be ready. So there we have it, the subframe. And unfortunately, it's so hot here in Florida, I'm taking a break. So, how are you going to paint it? you need to prepare for paint or you just can paint over? Oh no, this all needs to be sanded. Oh. Sand it down, I'm going to take this all apart, all this comes apart. Why well, just do paint right like that, that's all? It won't stick to rust, mm. it just come right off. Yeah, you need to, you need to clean it up. 
I mean, this is a very expensive frame. This is this is a racing frame. I, uh, the same place where I got my frame from, or my Camaro. USA USA frames. It's made at the USA. Yeah, it's it's, Good. Uh, it's a specially built racing frame for this uh, Gen Two, mm -hmm. Generation Two, Camaro. Okay, so now we've got the subframe out, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much secure. It's not going anywhere. And now we're going to disassemble the upper and lower control arms, take the steering rack out, and the sway bar. What you saying? I don't know. <laughs> Way bar? Yeah. This uh, keeps the car stable around turns. What it does is when you go around a turn this way and it puts pressure down, it pulls down the control arm. Keep try to keep it on the ground on the other side. Keeps pressure on it. Keeps it from swaying back and forth. Okay, since now we got the major part of the front end all apart, this is a good idea to do. And to separate your parts from left to right side. Because you have to clean them, then you gotta paint them, and it's so much easier to not go, oh, which side, which side goes on which side, and try to figure it out. That way, it's already figured out, it's in the box, saying left side, right side. Very important to do, it's smart too. Okay, now you're going to give me a hand and we're going to move this forward a little bit so I can get the bolts to the rack. Just move yeah. this, lift that up. This? Yep. Move it forward. That's it? Yep. That's it. Now this you probably just wait till I... Uh, you already take off from here? Yeah, everything's off. All I've got to do is get the rack and pinion off. That's going to take a little bit of time. So, let me get... You've done it. We've all done it. Yeah. Voila. Voila. You you done a lot of the things today, right? Oh yeah, we did a pretty good amount. We got the subframe out, we got the whole front suspension off. Okay. So yeah. you you deserve to take off now. Well yeah, it's getting too hot anyhow. It's going <laughs> towards uh one two one o'clock and in Florida it's like ninety five degrees right now. Yeah. It's just getting too hot. Very hot. I'll come out here and start sanding this in the morning one day. All right. Okay, that's enough for today. Because I can't see out of my glasses anymore. Yeah. <laughs> They're all sweated up. Yeah, I see that. So, so you, we did a lot of job. Yeah, we here. did pretty good. Yeah. We got the car jacked up. We got it uh, stable to work on. Mm -hmm. And we got the subframe out. Getting ready good. to uh, sand it down for paint. All right. We did a good job. My helper. <laughs>